Welcome! In this video, Dennis KD6DPR explains how to upload and work N1MM logging for field day. And so they changed the website address slightly. So that's the current address. And there's two things to download that you need. One is the full is the latest full release. And the, and then it should up, up, download the latest update release. See this is you know you see the standard kind of Windows installer when you start the, the logger. Um, and then you know as a for a while it will um, you know be installing stuff and um, and I'll also should note that you may need to have an internet connection while you're doing the full install because it will try to install auxiliary components from Windows if, if they're not already installed. Um, I, I installed it today on two, two, of the, two laptops which didn't have internet connections and everything was there. So it would, I, you don't absolutely need the internet connection, but it may fail if you don't have it. Um, and then finally you'll see completed if everything comes out okay. And, um, and then they, they ask you to reboot the computer. I've not done that and I've not had a problem, but probably if you install some of the optional components, you'll need to do that. Um, and then likewise, you start up the, the, the update. And, um, and this is the update from, I think, yesterday. They, they have updates every Tuesday now. It's a weekly update process. Um, they say they're doing agile methodologies, if you know what that is. And it doesn't really require weekly updates, but that's their, their interpretation. Um, and again, you should see, eventually see complete, and there's a checkbox whether you want to run it or not. Um, I generally run it. And then the next thing you get when you, on a fresh install is, is this dialog. You want to choose the middle option, which is creating a new, creating a new database. And, you know, if you just reinstall an over old one, you might already have the database there. And, and if you have the old version of of N1 install, doing a total fresh install, you could possibly convert the old database. If you don't have, this is your first install, what yeah. you're instructed for that. Any different? Oh, this is this is the first install, so I said use the okay, middle option. So you don't have any other databases or anything in there? No. And you still you select that number, the second uh, bullet then? Yeah, you choose the second one, create a, create a new one. Um, but, you know, you have the other choices if you happen to have them around. You know, you, you can, I mean, they're portable. The databases, databases are portable, so if you're, if you're moving from an old, old machine to a new one, you can just move the database over, and then you can choose the last one. Um, and then it'll take you to this screen where you choose what you want. Um, and, and for, for field day, choose, make sure it's the default, but SQLite database um, is the one that you should choose if you're doing this. And, and um, I have a suggestion name that's FD2019 underscore W3M or whatever your call sign is for, go, for the go-to or salary stations. And, and the rest is automatic. Um, the suffix. Okay, then after you do that, then you need to fill out the station information. And um, I don't think you need to fill out everything. I just fill out, I thought some of the fields that were relevant, call sign W3M, um, Massless Maryland. Um, I didn't fill the grid square in. If you click latitude and longitude, it automatically puts the grid square in for you. Um, and I actually have the, the what I think is the, the correct longitude. Longitude and latitude for Damascus, for Damascus site, um, 39.29 and 77.21. Um, there, and, um, and I put for the section you know, MDC. And there, I don't think the rest is really relevant for what we're doing. Um, well, the class, the license has to go in there. Is it, is it required for operation? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, well, but. Okay, I, I went through this today and it prompted me for it. Now, it may be it's not an absolute. Well, I, it I, may I, be an like I said, I mean, I did fill it in and I just said, okay. <laughs> but, uh, and it looked up, looked up, okay. So, to kind of summarize, you want to SQLite um, and the database name. And um, the next thing you need to do is create a, a log in the database. This is the main window. Mm -hmm. and you're under the file menu, the first item, new log in database, is the one you want to choose. Um, and then I'll bring up this dialog, which um, allows you to, to create the, the log. You want to choose the type of uh, um, FD, which is you know, which is right here. There's many different. This is basically the contest that you 
you know, this is made for contests, so you, you have many choices for different contests. But we want field day there. Um, and for the exchange down there, probably 3A MDC, I'm guessing. It's going to be 3A right now. Um, determine. And the operator is just it's filled in because I had, I had that on the, on the configuration. It will try to read them in. Um, but it, it's not that important. Okay. So now the optional files that you might want to, to install is from super par check partial, you download um, the zip file there. Uh, it, it, has, it starts with SCP and has some numbers. You can download the latest one and just unzip it into into the um, support file directory, where you, by default it's in the, under documents w m one m m logger plus support files, so you can just unzip all the files there. Um, it, it can't, actually the, the install actually installs one for you, so you can just use the one there. This is just a small call sign lookups, and also you can do the country download the country files, and again it has one there. I don't know how how up to date it is, but it's called wlcpy at that, and and there you go to the to the countryfiles.com website, and there's a, there'll be a menu of a content called label contest, and you choose N1 MM, and that will bring you to the page to download the file. Those are optional files, you don't have to do them. Okay, and the other optional thing is, is the manual, which is actually, you know, you probably really should download that one. And you can put also put it in the directory. Sometimes when those prompts came up, it was not clear what they, Tended you to do, and if you looked in the instruction manual, they had clear examples. Yeah, it made it a lot easier. It's, going it's what, the next I step. think it's like 800 some pages. Well, yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, the first <laughs> two you, you go right through them. I know, but yeah, I think it'll take you to them, won't it? Yes, it'll do that as well. Yeah, but it's a large manual, but it's really worth it. It has lots of details. I mean, a lot, a lot of part of it is how they interface N1MM to various software programs and radios. So it gives you instructions on how to how to do FL Digi or or, or um, W I keep forgetting it, WSJT. Mm -hmm. um, so it has instructions on how to, to interface. So those programs can dump their their um, contacts into into N1 MM if you set it up. Um, I'm, I'm not going to go into those details um, today. So. And now for operating, the first thing you should do when you get there, sit down at, at the log station, is type control O. And it will bring up this operator change window. Type your call sign in there and say OK. Then that way you'll get credit for all the contacts you make. Um, otherwise, whoever previously did this will get the credit. If you don't care, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we, you know, as a club, we'll get the points. The way. <laughs> okay. um, so this is the main window uh, that, that you'll see, um, and and so now, and I think this is a change from recent versions. I'm not sure. Was, I think this is the first year for it. You can just simply um, choose your band there by, with the mouse or something, and and it will, it will choose that. So you can let, So right now I have 40 digital selected. So you choose either CW phone or digital and, and the band. You can still type in into the, the, white, the white text box there, you know, USB or, or CW. Yes? Dennis, how do you access that uh, option there? Oh, this is the main window. When you bring, up, bring it up, this is what you see. The moment you boot up the program. Once the program starts, this is the window. Yeah, and also, I think it, by default, it also brings up the window, which will show you all the calls that have. Yeah, you're all long, the contacts have been made. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't make an uh, image of that window. But this is the main window that you do everything at. Oh, uh, the, if anybody wants to see that after the meeting, I have it on my computer. Oh, actually I have two, two computers, laptops here. And so if there's time, I'll set them up as a network. And if anyone wants to try it, they can do it. Or you can use Hank's computer. Um, so, okay. So this is how you fill out. This is when you get a contact. This is what you fill out for a field day. The call sign, which I just made up, one, and class, like four, say they say 4A, and, and they're from South Florida, SFL. So you need to know they are the regions to put that in. Um, and, and then you just hit enter, and it will go in. So that's, all, that's the whole part, 
whole thing and doing the set login and contact. It's just fill those three fields out. And this is why you need to select it, um, the, the prep log format in, uh, earlier on because it will automatically bring those those fields in there. So, and just to note that if, if you accidentally enter the same call again for the same mode and and um, ban, it will be it will put this great big big red dude there, so you know that you made the contact already or someone else did. So this will tell you like if one of the other stations made it or someone earlier made it, you'll know that it's already been done so you don't need to, to log it. I mean, you still log it, but um, it doesn't do you any good. It won't do you any good. No points will be, will be gained by that. Okay, so, um, so where can you, I mean, places to get help for if you need it, for, uh, if you're on your own, of course, the user manual has lot, has tons of information in it. Um, you can also talk to other users of the program, and the website also has a fo has a form to get to answer questions. It may not be too, too useful during field day itself, but um, <laughs> you know, but it is if, you, if you're going to use it elsewhere, 